the wonderful sounds of building. I love living next to it. <laughs> Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is Friday, so I thought we could do a little weekend vlog. I just got back from getting coffee and I had to get dog food, so I got up like right thing this morning because I didn't even have enough to feed the dogs breakfast. So I just went and got them food. They're eating right now. I have my coffee and I thought I would just start the vlog. My hair needs to be washed so badly. Um, today is a big day because the sun is out, you guys. I think this is the first time I've seen like blue sky in probably a week and a half. So that's nice. I mean, it's 28 degrees outside, so it's freezing cold, but the sun's at least out. I wanna, I really wanna take the dogs on a walk, but it's just like so cold. I guess I could bundle up and take them because I feel bad for them. Like I feel like they need exercise or maybe we could throw the ball or something in the backyard. It's just so muddy in the backyard because of the rain the past few days. So it's just kind of like a bad time for the dogs. <laughs> but I do have exciting news because yesterday I got a text from my dry cleaner place that I take like all my nice clothes and all of my things that need to get altered and things like that. It's a really kind of more of like a high end, um, what do you call it, dry cleaners. And so I actually, when the wedding was over, brought them my wedding dress because I don't know if I ever told this story about my wedding dress, but I guess I could like chat about it for a sec. Um, they do like wedding dress alterations and things like that. And they have like really, really good reviews. I really trust them. It's called Oakwood Cleaners in Nashville. Um, pricey, but worth it. I feel like if you're gonna spend a lot of money on clothes or dresses or things like that, it's like worth paying a little extra to get them clean um, to make sure that they're gonna stay nice. But anyways, after the wedding, my wedding was like literally the best night of my life. We talk about it all the time, but I, we got a party bus at the end of the night and my, my dress from the party bus, cause everyone was like spilling drinks and like pouring drinks everywhere was literally soaking wet. Luckily I didn't really have a train on my dress. Like when I got my dress altered in New York, they cut the bottom of the dress like off. So there wasn't a long train. So I didn't have to worry about like bustling a dress or holding up a dress or anything like that. But the bottom part of it was like still soaking wet. So anyways, the next day when we were all packing up and stuff um, to leave that following Monday for the honeymoon, um, my mom put my dress in like the dress bag and put it in my trunk. And then fast forward a week and a half later, after the honeymoon, I get home and I take my dress out of the bag and it's still like, it's like wet, but it's like hot. And there's like mold that has grown on my wedding dress and I, started freaking out and started crying. I was like, I mean, I know I'm never gonna probably wear the dress again, but I was just like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. So I called my mom, she was like, honestly, I don't know, like I should never put it in that bag. And she, she like didn't even think about it that it was gonna sit in the car for the week. Like obviously we would have never put it in the bag if we would have actually thought about it. But anyways, I took it to this place in Nashville and they were like, basically the material of the dress, if they were to treat it or try to get the mold off, it would rip holes in the dress because they would be like scrubbing it and stuff and the um, fabric of the gown was like really delicate. So anyways, we came to the conclusion to cut off the bottom of my dress and make it like a midi dress. So if I ever did want to rewear or like retake pictures or anniversary or something in it, it would be like a little midi dress and then my shoes would show, which I feel like we made the best out of the situation. Obviously I never really wanted to cut my dress to begin with, but it was like that or leave the mold on there. And then she said, if I did leave the mold on there, it would start to spread through the dress and just like ruin the whole thing. And I would have to toss it out eventually. So long story short, it's literally been like six months that they've had the dress. I dropped it like a week after we got married, but here it is. It looks all weird. Cause they have it like totally stuffed, but it like brings back I'm not talking about it like it was like 10 years ago, but I just love my dress so much, but normally it would go all the way down and it is hem. So she cut it and then she made it a little tighter on my leg. I'm excited to like see what it looks like on, but honestly, I don't really want to try it on or like ruin the stuffing or anything that it's in. So she told me to take it out of this bag to let it breathe for like a day and then take this off. Cause she said over time, this will disintegrate. And then she gave me this bag right here that is like meant for gowns so it can be breathable and I can hang it in my, the second guest room closet is like my wedding closet it has all my wedding looks and stuff. And I'm gonna add this with the skirt. The skirt stayed like perfectly clean. I had a detachable skirt on my dress. If you guys are new to the channel and you like didn't see my dress on, I will put a picture here on the screen of my dress and what it looked like. Cause right now it looks kind of weird, but love it. It's so nice to see it all nice and clean. I'm surprised that they got all the spots out. I mean, there was stuff like all the way up here. So anyways, crazy. 
Okay, it's later. I'm know. vlogging this weekend, so buckle up, baby. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. did you get? Here's a Chicago dog. And then I also got a Big Daddy. How do you open them? <laughs> this is the weirdest combo. I'm not even done with my coffee yet. Oh. <laughs> I guess in a picture of one of my players. You guys, look at this sign at the hot dog stand. <laughs> Hi, baby. <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> Hi, sweet love. Good morning. Another day of sun. I'm so excited. Just woke up. I need to make the bed. It's a mess. Dylan just took the dogs out. He leaves for work, obviously. Also, look at my hair. I slept on my hair wet. <gasps> Why did I do that? No, 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 no. Okay. First problem is the hair. Yesterday when um, we got home, I didn't vlog at all because we did nothing. <laughs> we literally did nothing. We watched TV. I caught up with some friends on the phone. Um, then we ordered ramen. We had like takeout and it was so good from, a, how do you, how, I don't know how you say it. Ow. My, my last three weeks of this line. I think I told you guys I had the chance to get them off, but I ended up um, keeping them on for three more weeks because I want to like tighten my teeth as much as I possibly can. But what I was gonna tell you guys before I turn this water on, um, I didn't get all my makeup off, so it looks like I have like black. I'm like really <laughs> struggling this morning. But my hair, I can explain my hair. I never let my hair like air dry fully or go to sleep with my hair wet because I have the extensions and it just it doesn't mix well and like I have naturally like curly hair so it just doesn't work but yesterday I came home we were relaxing doing all that whatever and then I was like you know I'm gonna take one of those really nice just like hot showers the long full like shave your body wash your hair do a hair mask like that whole shower thing i hadn't washed my hair in a while and so i was like Ooh, this is gonna be really nice so i get in the shower i have the hair mask in like it's going great sorry my hair like won't stay up and then all of a sudden i am like what the heck i have conditioner in my hair at this point so i have everything done besides like shaving my body i had like my hair situation done i had the conditioner in and all of a sudden the water it wasn't even like giving me a sign like the water was going out like the hot water was going out it just all of a sudden was like literally freezing cold and i screamed i'm like this trying to get my conditioner out of my hair so like i'm pretty sure there's still a little bit of like soap or something in my hair so that's kind of why i let it just air dry because i knew i would probably have to rewash it but something happened with our water heater pump or something dylan ended up fixing it i have no idea how he was on the phone with some guy for like two hours trying to fix it in our garage it was like beeping i don't know why it had to happen when i was taking my one nice lengthy shower but you know it's fine but thank god like i think about if i were to be living by myself i wouldn't have no idea how to do that and i feel like dylan is pretty handy when it comes to things like that so i'm thankful for that and a husband and a partner because i need that because i don't know what i'm doing but we've never had that issue like that's i guess why i'm so shocked some of you guys probably like rachel water hot water runs out all the time but the reason i was so shocked was because ours isn't like a i don't know like the proper words but like we have like a pump so like we can have unlimited amounts of hot water if that makes any sense i mean i'm sure you guys will correct me if i'm wrong but we don't have just like a hot water tank like we have a pump and so sometimes like i could take an hour long shower not that i would but and it would be hot water the whole time so that's why i think i was so thrown off by it but anyways we just woke up dylan's downstairs got the dogs i think that we're gonna make some breakfast 
and I really want to go to like some vintage stores today. I think that could be fun. We literally have nothing to do and it's the best feeling ever, you guys. Morning skincare, Paula's Choice. I get this at on Amazon, I'll link it, or you can get it at Sephora now, I'm pretty sure. I use it every morning and night, I'm almost out. I need to get another one and then I will put this when levy it's a prescription like cream just to like the bottom half of my face and then this stuff is literally incredible i'm obsessed with it the smell the texture everything i'm actually almost out of this so i need to order a new one i was on elemis's website this morning and they actually have like a they have this one which is a daytime cream i've been using it day and night for the past like three weeks now but they also have a pm cream so i'm gonna order the pm and the um am just to keep them separate, but that's kind of my little skincare at the moment. I try to keep it pretty simple. I find when I keep it simple is when my face does best, obviously. One thing about Dylan is if he's home in the morning on the weekends, he is blaring music in the kitchen. Like he's down there, I'm pretty sure making, God only knows what kind of breakfast, probably making a mess in the kitchen. Whose husband does that? Like they want to cook breakfast and then they just leave a mess and then you have to go in and like wrap up cooking the breakfast because they only worry about like the meat or like the potatoes or something there's no sides there's no nothing and then basically you end up cooking a breakfast and actually i will say dylan's like a messy cooker and whatever like i normally do the cooking but he is dish boy and he like enjoys it like he he enjoys doing dishes, which is so nice. I hate doing dishes. I hate dishes and laundry. I think I hate laundry even more, but dishes would be like my second least favorite thing. Here's my cream. I have like half left, but if you guys can see the texture, it's just like really light. I like how it's creamy, but then it goes on almost like a, if you guys have tried the summer Fridays, like cloud do whatever it's called, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I really, really like it. Don and I just had breakfast tacos they were so good and i got some packages in i ordered some stuff i got this new color of oh these are so cute you guys know how i love light colored shoes and i thought these would be really cute for spring and summer i saw these get posted on revolve and i'm sure they're probably sold out but if i can find the colorway I will link them. If not, I'll link them on Revolve, keep an eye on them. Sometimes they'll do like pre-order and whatever or restock them. Thought those would be good for like the beach. Um, I also got this Camila Coella, Coelho collection from Revolve. I guess she came out with activewear and they sent over a set. Really, really soft and comfy. This little top is so stinking cute. And in the back is open. Dylan and I came to 12 South. There's a vintage store here that I love. It's called Savant Vintage. I think I've showed you guys before on the vlogs, but um, yeah, we're just gonna walk around, maybe get a drink or a beer or something, and or a few, and go to the vintage store. But I'm pretty sure that it's closed because we just drove by it, and I swear this store makes their own hours. It's so frustrating. But anyways, here's to hoping it's open. Here's the store. Pretty sure it's closed. Why are you kidding me? Every single time I want to come to this place, I swear. Maybe they should like have some store hours on the website, maybe. You know that it's closed when this tarp is on this car. Really? Yeah, that's how I found, figured it was closed when we walked up. Four hours later and we went and got a drink at this cute little place. We watched some basketball, had some snacks, and then Dylan got a piece of pizza. And then we went by that vintage shop, you guys, and it was open. And I'm so excited because I got this pair of cargo pants that I think are going to be really cute and fit well. And then we also got a little... <laughs> Babe, I don't know why it makes me laugh. <laughs> why should you carry shopping bags? Why? I don't know. It's just funny. And I might have had one too many drinks. <laughs> 
Oh, really? But our friends are having a baby girl and we're so excited for them. So we're sending them a little cute gift. We went to White's Mercantile because it is the cutest store for gifts around here in Nashville. If you guys live there or live here, <laughs> if you guys live there. Well, there's also White Mercantile in other places. No, there's not. There was one in Franklin. Okay, fine, Franklin, but that's it. I think it's just a Tennessee thing. Anyways, the vintage shop was open and I got the cutest pair of cargo pants. I'm so excited to go home and try them on. I hope that they fit. They kind of remind me of the local European ones. But anyways, we're heading back home. We're probably gonna be in for the rest of the night. Tonight for dinner, Dylan and I had HelloFresh. We were about to order takeout food and then I remembered we had HelloFresh in the fridge and I love it because it comes right to your door. Really healthy, good for you ingredients and also really yummy recipes. So I wanted to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are looking for an easy way to eat well and save money, um, you can cut back on expensive takeout, like I said, in delivery and get started with HelloFresh. I love how fast and easy and affordable it is to whip up like restaurant quality meals right at home. You can customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides or even adding protein to a veggie dish. And now you can even upgrade for organic chicken or organic ground beef, which I love. Also, every time you'll only find quality ingredients in HelloFresh's recipes. In fact, ingredients travel from farm to your home in less than seven days. So you know everything is really, really fresh. So we love it. I love how everything is pre-portioned. Like I said, comes to the door, super easy. We're obsessed. So if you guys have not tried it out by now, you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code RA65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Again, that is HelloFresh.com. My code is RA65 for 65% off plus free shipping. I'll have it linked down below for you guys, but thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's vlog. We love you guys. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday morning. I came downstairs with the dogs a little bit earlier than Dylan. I went to bed like at nine o'clock yesterday. I think it's because we were day drinking and I always get really tired when I do that, but I am in the cleaning mood this morning. So we've been cleaning the kitchen. Dylan came down and made a coffee and I just wiped down all of the counters, all of the cabinets, like the backsplash. I wiped down all of these shelves. We just dusted these lights up here. And then I'm going through this cabinet right here it's normally like our cleaning supplies, just like household cleaning things, and then we keep candles and stuff down here, but normally it's all nice in this bin, but it's gone out of control. So I'm gonna go through this quick, and then I think today's gonna be a little bit of a cleaning day. I haven't made a coffee yet, so I'm gonna sit on the couch after I do this and have coffee with Dylan, and then maybe organize my closet. We're really not doing much today. Like we don't really have many plans, which is nice, but. I do like getting a few like household things done on the weekends. This dog mat, babe, I've been looking for this. on social media where I'm like I cannot believe that I put myself on the camera like this and put it on the internet like I don't even know what I look like right now um I haven't washed my face I haven't brushed my teeth like I'm just having my coffee like slow Sunday morning you guys know the vibe but I wanted to come on here because I have been trying to figure out this living room situation because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be staying in this house and so I'm trying to make the living room when we had the Christmas tree it was great because this corner was filled and now I don't know what to do with it what I was thinking a lot of you guys said in the last vlog like you recommended doing um, like a big chair right there maybe like a big like recliner relaxer chair obviously not leather that's not really my style probably some type of cloth or linen or something maybe like a big chair from six penny that's where our couch is couch looks a mess right now because i'm actually in the process of cleaning the pillows i took the cover off of this couch which i'm a little nervous about but our couch has gotten so dirty from the dogs which it's fine. I like knew that was gonna happen. Thank God it's not white. But yeah, it's right by the back door. We've had rain, mud. You guys know the whole drill with dogs. I am so happy that it's a slip cover couch because that's like a game changer. So I'm supposed to take the covers to the dry cleaner, but that's what the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch said for the covers, but I would wash them. Um, so I'm gonna try out one and I hope that it goes well. And then if it does, I will wash the rest just because it's gotten a little bit like dingy and stuff and I wanna steam the cushions and just make it look like fresh and crisp. But what I was thinking was, ignore how dirty you guys can see like mud and stuff on here because 
the dogs just think this is like a playground, but it's fine. Uh, anyways, I thought maybe adding a sectional ottoman situation right here, or maybe even like another back to the couch could be cute. I don't know what to do. I'm going to figure it out, but I don't think I love having like chair, chair, and then chair again. So I don't know what to do. I'm not in love with this coffee table either. So I might get a new coffee table. I might sell this one. I might sell this chair. I really love this chair. I would like to keep it in case we ever have a master bedroom with like a sitting area. I think this is a cute chair, but we don't really have anywhere to put it right now. So it might have to go in the garage. What are they doing? <laughs> My little thought process on the living room. I'm struggling with it. I ignore the washing machine. It's like going crazy, but I will say like, I'm pretty sure we're going to be staying in this house. I still look at new rentals. I look at what's on the market. Like we're keeping an eye out, but we're not like in a rush. We're paying month to month here for as long as we want. Um, so yeah, we, we don't know what we're going to do. We kind of dabbled into the idea of buying. Um, we talked to a few realtors, kind of still talking to some. I have another appointment tomorrow with one, but it's just kind of a bad time right now in the market, especially for first time home buyer. And then also for me being self-employed and like not really doing this career for that long. I'm sure you guys know how that goes. If you guys are self-employed with like trying to prove your income and all the things like that, just cause I haven't been doing this career for that long. So, um, yeah, anyways, so that's kind of the real deal. That's just me being honest with you. I feel like whenever I see influencers i hate even like saying that word or like people that i follow are like on the internet anything like that um and then they buy a new home it always looks like so easy in the process of it and i'm just here to <laughs> tell you the reality of like first time home buyer and the market right now in nashville is just not good so um if you're struggling and you feel like oh my god this is crazy i don't know what we're doing don't worry you're not alone I, dylan and i feel the same way we feel very overwhelmed and so we think maybe the best bet is to rent for another year um, so that's kind of what we're doing. We were trying to decide if we wanted to stay in this rental or leave But honestly, I think we got in this rental at a good time because now a lot of the prices in Nashville for rentals are like through the roof So we we're really lucky with when we got in and the like situation of our townhome because I do really really love this house I just wish that we had maybe one more bedroom or a little bit more space in the living room, but beggars can't be choosers That's just how it goes. Um, so yeah, anyways, I kind of want to revamp the living room. I know I've done it like four or five times since we've been here. Keeping the couch, keeping these chairs, obviously I love them. Um, but the coffee table and then that corner chair, I just need to really figure out what I want to do with it because I'm struggling. I wouldn't call this a dog park though because there's like a tennis court. It's just a regular park. Yeah, and I always see people bringing their dogs and Dylan and I were like, oh, it's a nice day out. Let's go take, let's go take the dogs to the park <laughs> thinking that they were going to love it run around play fetch Winnie has always fetched in Colorado I remember Emily and I would take her and she would play all the time 24 7 she loved it and then oh, my extensions are making me so annoyed today we started getting a little bit worried about Rue because she kept trying to get close to the cars and they like I mean we had leashes with us but they weren't on it when we were playing fetch and neither one of them were really enjoying themselves. They just wanted to leave leave the whole time. And Dylan goes. So then we just decided to take them on a little walk like around the park and now we're back in the car. But Dylan goes, is this what it feels like when you're a parent and your kids are like ungrateful? You were not very polite at the park. She's Winnie. going through her teenage bitch phase. <laughs> she wouldn't fetch the ball. Rue just sat there and drank water. And now we're here. What should we do? Be honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give it to me straight. Now let me feel the burn of the truth. You're feeding me the same lines like I'll never. 
back from our little outing with the dogs, but I've been working at this room all day trying to pick it up. I feel like lately my bedroom, when I come in here, it does not feel like calm and cozy and it's just, it stressed me out for the longest time. So Dylan and I actually just took apart the bed and took the rug out from underneath. The rug was getting so dirty from like people's shoes, the dogs, all that. And I kind of just wanted no rug for a little bit. The rug, I was looking at pictures on Instagram and I, or on Pinterest and I realized our rug took up literally the whole entire floor, like all the way to the wall, all the way here, and then came all the way this way and all the way to the side table. And I figured that it was too big of a rug for this space. I think that's why the room felt really crammed. And now I feel like the room has, sorry, Dolan's doing yard work outside so you can hear him. But now I feel like we have a ton of room. And then I was looking on Pinterest at some like things that I had pinned on my dream home board I have. I'll link my Pinterest below for you guys. And the rugs for bedrooms like start right here. So it cuts off the side table and then it just comes a little bit outside the bed and then like this. So it's just like a small little rug for like when you get in and out of bed, but it's not supposed to take up the whole floor. So I'm going to look for a new maybe vintage rug for this room, but I just feel like everything looks so much cleaner. I literally deep cleaned the baseboards. I moved the, um, what do you call this? The mirror over here, which I think I'm going to love. I felt like my side of the room was so crowded. We also took up. Ah! What is it with you and tags? You're gonna hurt yourself. This is daily drills. They sent us some clothes. You have to say thank you before you rip up the tag. <laughs> I've kept up with the bathroom since the last vlog when I organized it with Cassidy, so that is very exciting. I'm gonna use that paper towel really quick. I have a trash bag going and I'm gonna clean this mirror, but I really like the mirror here. Ignore, ignore what I look like, but the mirror here I think is a vibe and I think it's a little switch up. The bed, the sheets and stuff are all being washed. I just put this around the bed. I love this bed because I feel like a lot of you guys are like, how do you keep this bed so white? This whole thing actually peels off and you can put it in the wash. So I just got this out of the wash. This was just recently washed. So everything in here is like super, super clean. I need to get something to tape this cord up because that's driving me crazy. And then the big announcement is that we took Rue's crate out of here, which... I could cry tears of joy. I was so over that huge crate in our room, but it's just necessary for when she, like when we leave the house and whatever. So we actually moved into the guest room and we'll just put her in there. But at nighttime, I trust her enough now. We're gonna try it out tonight and I'll let you guys know how it goes probably in the next vlog, but we're gonna let her be free. Now that the rug is not down, if she does have an accident, I feel like it won't be the end of the world, but I feel like she won't. She hasn't had an accident in the house in quite some time. So this is like her spot under the window where she lays. So I put the dog bed here and I think she'll like it. Um, and then we'll get another dog bed up here for Winnie and maybe we can have them lay beside each other. Anyways, I'm so excited. I have everything like super clean. I moved these out from the wall and there was so much dust, just like gross shit everywhere on the baseboards and just everything so it kind of felt nice to give this room a deep clean i'm gonna clean this mirror really quick hi Rue. <laughs> daily drill sent me two little sets i think and i'm so excited i love their stuff they sent me a set for christmas in red and I think it's actually this exact pair of joggers. And I'm so, so excited. If you guys have never tried out Daily Drills, it's a really comfy, cute athleisure brand. And then this like pullover sweatshirt, I love. And their brand name, I'm actually gonna try that on quick. And then this set, how cute. Big oversized comfy sweater. And then the back has their logo and then a little matching knit shorts. How cute. Just laid out a few things. I'm heading to uh, Georgia tomorrow just for like two days. My mom got me, Sarah and Emily and her Carrie Underwood tickets for a Christmas gift. So we're gonna go have a little girls night in Atlanta. So that'll be fun, but I'm gonna go a day early. So today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday. I'm gonna go spend the day with Carson. I have a dermatologist appointment in the morning and then I'm gonna head out. So just a quick little weekend trip. So I kind of have my stuff packed here. I have a travel outfit. This is what I'm gonna wear to the dermatologist tomorrow with slides in my bag. Here's two little country concert options. I think I'm gonna wear all denim um, 
the theme of like Carrie Underwood's concert is rhinestones and denim. My mom's a huge Carrie Underwood fan. I like her music. I don't really know any of her new songs, but I'm really excited because I feel like I always love a good concert or show or whatever the case may be. So I have two little options here, boots that go with both. And then I'm just bringing this little overnight bag. And then I have my travel outfit for the way home with this little hat. So I'll pack my toiletries in the morning, but I have that all laid out, which is good because I have to leave for the dermatologist around 8 a.m. and then I'm going to get right on the road and head home to Georgia. Mm -hmm. 